angels at that baptism. Wow. I didn't see it, but he saw it. I was yeah. like, sweet. <laughs> that was awesome. Shoot. I turned the camera off. I shouldn't have turned the camera off. You guys are getting good in here. But, I mean, you never know. You never know when the angel is going to show up. Right. Oh, part of that thing, remember I was talking about last week with all that, um, whatever. Uh, earlier on in this book, it was talking about the, the angels in Genesis 6. You know, where it talks about... Um, he, he said something, well, I don't think I agree with this. I agree with, um, I'll tell you what I think. He, this is what he says. He says that in the Old Testament, um, demons could materialize into men. They could look like people. That's how come they could actually have sex with the woman, yeah. which I believe that's actually right. Because the Old Testament, the, the sons of God were angelic, holy angels and fallen angels. New Testament, all the sons of God accounts um, in context is all people walking by the Spirit. They that walk by the Spirit are the sons and daughters of God. Old Testament, it was all either holy or unholy angels. Genesis 6, the sons of God were obviously fallen angels. They could materialize themselves and to be able to sleep with women and actually impregnate them. You know, I've heard about people today having spiritual attacks and feeling like they've been raped in their sleep by demons, which is just crazy, but they don't get pregnant. Okay? That's not the same as the Old Testament because they actually did get pregnant and they actually gave birth to giants in the land. The Anakites or whatever. That's, that's it. The sons of Anak were actually giants around 10 feet tall. And some of the um, accounts of um, um, dudes were really big. Really big. And in the, inter and in the New Testament it says, don't forget to entertain <clears throat> strangers for some have entertained angels unaware. Exactly. Hebrews you know, 13, you, you right. You don't know, it could be an angel sent from God, right. you know, to so. tell you a message or Let something. Let me check my wings. Yeah, yeah. Check my wings. <laughs> but you know, like, if, if someone, if you really, if someone is really there and you're doing something and it says you could be helping an angel unawares, that means that angels can still take on the form of a human being. Yeah. Because yeah, if, they if they're glowing, then you know they're an, obviously an angel. It's not going to be unawares, it's awares. But what were you saying? Sorry. It didn't Abraham entertain the angel of the Lord? Yeah, yeah a couple angels or but something. He knew it. Yeah, that was the that's radical. God, he saw the angels too. He knew they were angels and told them not to stay in the court, <coughs> city yard, or wherever. Right. They yeah, but the, those guys, the evil ones, they thought they they were men. Yeah. They thought they were so, men, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they wanted to have to like men. Them. Right. Interesting. Yeah. And the then, other way around. And who's, yeah. the, and who's the guy that wrestled with the angel of the Jacob. Lord? Michael, <coughs> Jacob. Michael, the angel. No, Jacob. Jacob wrestled. Jacob wrestled the angel. Yeah. And but then, Michael, the archangel, he he said, the Lord rebuked thee. He didn't say, I rebuked thee. He said, the Lord rebuked thee. Yeah. Right, Jude. In the book of Jude, it said that yeah. even yeah. over the issue of Moses' body, um, even he wouldn't even say something against evil spirits or against satan right that's why we got to be careful when it talks about like it's scoffing crazy. against devil and stuff like that that's it says even even michael who was a very big angel wouldn't even do it but yet some people will go around cursing the devil like they know everything he says that's like saying the lord <clears throat> saying i rebuke you i rebuke you i, rebuke, I hear that all the time and it's like it's, it's like well the bible lord tells you don't do it you. yeah it says he said even the angel only one time even said the lord rebuke you satan under a very extreme case but it's a very normal practice among some of the brute beast pentecostal groups that don't even know what they're talking about. It says they act like normal brute beasts that don't understand what they're talking about. And you can rebuke all day, but if the Lord ain't in it, it ain't, it ain't nothing going to happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a fearful you thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. That one really straightened me out, the book of Jude, because I used to think that that was right. But one thing I thought that was really interesting is that scripture, you know, that one chick track, the gunslinger, where that pastor is saying, Satan, get out of here, or whatever like that. Remember that? The, the pastor at, in Gunslinger, he was saying, Satan, get out of my city. You you came to our city. We're going to, we take it back or whatever. And something like that. And so I kind of was like, huh, I wonder why. Well, sometimes it sounds right and sometimes it sounds weird. Because sometimes I, <clears throat> I feel like people are just like praying, like, you know, certain things. And other people are like commanding demons. Like, you can't, that's, no, that's really weird. Like, you know, like you have the power to command a demon or to command something to to go, which I know that, I don't know, it's, it's kind of confusing. I 
Yeah. 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 It is. You see, you see what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I remember at Park Rose that the one uh, Indian lady was rolling on the floor and they had a bunch of people trying to cast. And it didn't seem like anything was working. Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay. Do you? I don't remember. And she used to come in the morning. Yeah. She never came in the evening. At least and same thing evening. with that Michael Mukesh guy. Yeah.